Mrs. Hank, am I audible? You are audible. Excellent. Ah, wonderful. And you are also, so this works very nice. On? Hello. It's on. It's most some. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Hi. Okay. So um, we are accumulating quorum here. Um, whatever our list, our poll requests right now. I wanted to start with the uh, layered attestation. I kind of hope. That <laughs> Dave, uh, Andrew Quinn, welcome. Thank you. New face. Always good to see new faces. You might, you know, scare you. That's okay. Tell us to slow down. We're probably scaring ourselves. Uh, anybody else that's new? And Gwyn. So while you're looking through the stuff, Michael, uh, this is Hank. I, uh, um, Pushed an update committed and pushed an update to the uh, pull request, uh, fixing all the nets, fixing most of the comments, and highlighted some things as uh, we should discuss this. And I don't know how GitHub works sometimes. Some of the comments were no, I was not able to reply to, uh, especially the new ones. I don't know why. So let's go through. So, that. Ned, let's go jump to this first one about uh, staged. I was just really found the UFI BIOS. Uh, slash slash just annoying in the thing you said you had no editorial solution uh that's not a big deal for me but i was kind of hoping we would find some word word that made everyone happy um we are not using the word composite a tester we're using the word composite device now Is that is, is is that true? We are agreed on that, Hank. I was unsure. That is why I did not address it immediately. I know that we use composite device, and I think we have a hierarchy of attestors in an entity. That's all I know. So, um, and sometimes in the, in the diagram, the entity is called a composite device, which I find confusing. And uh, this is why I did not address this because uh, I think there is too much confusion around this. Um, I, I think we I, did, uh, a, yeah. did agree a lot two meetings ago that we're going to call it a composite device uh, and it contains okay. the testers. The, I think uh, the bigger question is why are we talking about co composite devices in this and about layered attestation? Oh. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I, sh I, sh I was um, overloading the example, I assume. Uh, this is correct. Uh, it adds a complexity that should go to composite device and not here. So you delete that sentence then? Yeah. No, wait. Uh, I, can't, I cannot see this. <laughs> it go, says go. This, this, this complexity is independent of the concept defined by composite whatevers. Um, Oh, I think Ned. I think Ned. I think Ned's right that that can just that sentence can just be deleted though. Okay, 
I think, yeah, maybe maybe it's obvious, but sometimes you have to spell. Oh, this is not the same thing. But uh, okay, multiple. Uh, you're right, this is redundant. But there's if you further down, there's multiple references to compass it, something or other, and it even talks even in the same sentence talks about composite devices at, in composite testers. Uh, you can avoid a whole bunch of <clears throat> confusing text by trying to not talk about composite things. I agree with that. Okay, so I yeah. think that we need to see the text in context, and I don't think we can do that easily from the uh, we have right now. So um, let me uh, let me post format it and post and bring that up. Okay, I think it's all one section, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Most likely. Yeah, this is uh, again, uh, maybe at the end, my mind strayed a little bit. I was uh, uh, trying to uh, bind those and differentiate both concepts, which I sometimes tend to do at the end of the section. And uh, yeah, maybe this is just a uh, superfluous text. Uh, with the, I understand the comment better now. Um, so, um, so I can act on it maybe, but we can. Trying to uh, uh, pull that uh, branch to your desktop, right? I'm just, just formatted it here. There we go. Ah, okay. okay. So, um, layered attestation process. This is the text. Uh, I'll just leave it here. We give you everyone a minute to read through it from beginning to end. I would agree with Dave that the, uh, the sentence, this complexity is independent, yada, yada, could just be completed. Also, the following one, the composite attested to sentence. Yep. I'm looking at the PRs. This is this, I don't know what, what drove me there. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So <clears throat> the, first, the first paragraph is essentially providing analysis of the architecture. I haven't described the architecture yet. And whoever's typing it. So it is a hard time to hear you right now because typing is really loud. Yeah. So if you're not speaking, maybe you can. <clears throat> so uh, first paragraph analysis about the architecture, but not describing the architecture. The second slash third paragraph is an example of the architecture, but we didn't describe the architecture yet. I think it goes on and on and basically it intertwines the architecture inside of the example. That's that if you scroll down to the bottom, maybe we never even get to the architecture. The architecture component. Yes, this is an ex this is an elaborate example that uh, we can we can trim, of course, which should enable us to create a uh, I think very concise paragraph about the architectural layout of layer data station. And, this and isn't I section six and the architecture is section four. So why do you say we haven't done the architecture yet? Uh, because it's, there's section 4.2 should say layered attestation or layered. I don't know, we have a, a section for composite and not a section for layered. I don't know. Yeah, I don't 
but the two types of environments are basically the uh, two things that are I introduced staging at, uh, actually there. Um, at a stage, so basically the hand off of the duty of the, uh, being an, a testing environment to one to to the one of the target environments is the staging, and that is the architectural concept of layer resistation, and this is described there in six and six point one. I think, but I, I, I yeah, I, I think it fits better in section. Or if that's where we're going to talk about composite things, because a, a layering is is a different way to look at having multiple attesters <clears throat> in the same entity. Now I'm confused. Uh, just four, five minutes ago, we were highlighting that composite attester is not a thing here, and now you're saying, but it is a composition of attesters, and therefore it goes into four. That is literally confusing to me. Sorry. Um, it's more a comment about the structure of the document. <clears throat> so I don't, I'm not sure I understand why we even need section six. And, but the content in section six seems like it ought to belong in section four, but not as a blend, some sort of mutation of 4.1, but as a 4.2 that talks about layered attestation and, and so the attestation is a thing layered attestation is a thing yeah this is a vape pen uh, issue i think right section six has been changed to section uh under section four by dave i think uh the mer the mer pr has been merged by michael what was the issue with that or pull request change six to section four 4.1. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. This this PR needs to be rebased. Yeah, that is a problem. It is based on an so, old version where the structural change has not happened yet. I've rebased it just a second here. Okay, without merge conflicts. Wow. No, I there was a merge conflict. <laughs> I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael, we are looking at the GitHub architecture page right now. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, the uh, data tracker is slow. Yeah. Oh, this has to build. This is a circle CI. It, it, it takes at least two minutes to. Uh, no, I'm not doing a circle CI. I'm I, I'm just saying that 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 the the cop the the fetching the references from the xml ah. tools blah 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 is yeah it was low for me either uh, also um a few minutes ago okay so now it's in section two uh and section four wait two types of a tester composite Happen to composite. All right, so composite attester is there. Two types of environments of an attester. We have that. So that that six point code moved. Mm -hmm. It looks like it didn't. I didn't. I didn't merge my merge. I didn't solve the merge conflict correctly. And all the text is still there in six. Yeah, yeah, and so six, I, I merged it's safe when I going away, right? And six one becomes four three. Yep. So you want that Good. as four three? Okay, I, I will agree. Move. Yeah, I will fix that. Merge conflict, right? Actually, there's three types of environments. If that's what we're doing. Mm, what's the third? There's the simple case of just an attester. Yeah. Uh, no, you still always have an attesting environment and a tested environment, or sorry, a target environment. Yeah, there that might be environment. But still two types. That's what I mean. It's a zero one infinity kind of a conversation. No, there's always two types. 
Layer just means that those those two appear multiple times. Composite uh, means those two appear multiple times. Um, so how the text on the two types then? I thought I was assuming that it, that that text was describing composite and layered, but not the simple case of no single. Not two types of a tester. There are two types of environments in an attester or of an attester. Okay. Never mind. Isn't an architecture involving composite different than an architecture involving layered? Yes. Could you have a composite layered architecture? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, we're, we're basically, so two types of environments is describing the attesting environment. Environment. That's the simple, that's the, that's in the context of a simple case of a single attester and then there's the composite attester and the layered attester, or I don't know if it's a tester or a test a test attestation, but uh, four point one is describing the case. Four point two is a composite case. Four point three is the layered case. It would be helpful to have a diagram in the 4.1 that shows the two environments. Um, I'm actually wondering, uh, Hank and Michael, whether 4.3 should be before 4.2. Maybe. So do we also agree that this paragraph at the bottom should go? Is that what we agreed at the very beginning of our conversation? Or was it just it's, the last sentence? This is comparing the two. Yeah. It either I goes. Agree. I agree. It is I agree. Also we have a separate section of analysis. I agree. It goes the whole paragraph or just the last sentence. My opinion: the whole paragraph. Yeah, if we phrase four correctly, this paragraph becomes uh, useless. It can go. This has to be clear before we start reading 4.1. And then if this is clear, this is all three things that are, can be combined, they can exist separately, then this sentence, this paragraph is not needed. And, and putting it at the end is most certainly not okay. It's, it's also it's a note, so yes, get rid of it and, and maybe make a note to uh, uh, add the, uh, um, to, to review the uh, um, architectural overview section now, uh, if it com um, addresses, for one, two, four, three, appropriately, which probably it doesn't. Okay. So. And yes, it could get it could go before four three. I think uh, I have no strong opinion all about ordering. It's it's shorter, but it's okay. more exemplary. Huh? Um. Yes, I like it in the order that Michael, you have it shown now, and that's because four three introduces additional concepts. The, like the notion of a local verifier doesn't exist in four point two. So I think it, it's now ordered in the order from so simplest to most complex. I think. Do we? Okay, I agree. So, do do we do we want a diagram to go with some of this text up here? Yes, I agree with whoever said it in the notes. Maybe Ned had said it. Uh, I expected to see that diagram show up here somewhere. It, yep, it been drawn yet? I don't think. I think Ned is right that Ned first drew it in a graphic form. I converted it to ASCII, and so it has been drawn. Right. It has been drawn, so it's somewhere here. Layered attestation. Got it. I have to look at it again, but basically that's. Yes, that's the one. And would you, you would like, would you like it? Uh, the diagram. I think it should go right in here after bootloader. Right uh, in this no, I, no. I think it should go. I think it should go in the non-existent. Section that describes the architecture, <laughs> not in the middle of an example. Can you scroll up just slightly, uh, Michael? I want to see what's before the top paragraph. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I think it goes in the paragraph that's the second one. This is a very common example is elaborated on to illustrate layered attestation. And I think it goes in between that paragraph and the next one about the very first attesting environment. Okay, I will put Let's it your comment in the uh, issue tracker or the comment tracker. <laughs> Yeah, Ned's, yeah. My, my, I have a, another, my other comment was there's BIOS isn't the only firmware, and this example is BIOS specific. I would rather have the architecture be independent, described independently of an example about BIOS. Yeah, also what might uh, alleviate the, this, this horrible thing uh, uh, Michael said is unreadable that is UEFI slash BIOS slash firmware, <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. I, I didn't find a good terms, and maybe that is right, maybe it is just not necessary, and maybe we can swap two flies with one swoop here. Um, by yeah, you can refer to, hmm? yeah, you can just refer to what, target environments A, B, and C, or whatever, as we go through things, you know, because the first one is the yeah. target environment, environment right? Because the first one is the, uh, the hardware component, right? Where it talks about the very first attesting environment in this example can be a hardware component, and that would be, you know, A or whatever, and then that one would be B and C and so on in the diagram. And you can say that, you know, B might be a uh, firmware, for example. Yeah, but I think the example of a static code root of trust for measurement as A is very important because that is how things work. Uh, absolutely. Um, so what I'm hearing you say is that we should uh, merge the diagram and we should use the diagram um, to remove the the slashes, perhaps just leaving them as ex an exemplar somewhere. Um, for example, A could be this, B could be this, and C could be something, and then leave exactly. it at that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, if you have the diagram, then it's really easy to just talk to the diagram. Yeah, exactly. I always love that too. Um, so I'm just going to put note fix me in. Now it looks like this. Let's fix me here. Um, and so we need to come back to that. Don't mind. I, I don't think we need to do that immediately. Let's let's merge this and move on to something else. Fair enough. Um as long as we don't lose the comments, because I had added three more comments on this PR while we were talking. And once you pulled up the long thing to say, let's read through this, I found three other things to. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 um, so, okay, so that's what I am worried about if we do that. So, let's do more race conditions here. Go on. More race conditions, yeah. So, uh, Dave Thaler, 28 days ago, 28 days ago. Uh... Actually, I suspect one of them was a duplicate of something before that I saw Hank responded to that I don't know what he responded. And she probably responded last night or something. So that was about yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the staging about, thing. Not, yeah, oh, okay. There were comments I could not respond to, really. I don't know why some, like, Ned's comments are, like, right. fixed. So. I, I kind of really like the, prefer the uh, Word docs, whatever business where you have the comment on the side and. Yeah, resolve it. That is, yep. nice. I don't understand what it means for hardware component to encompass multiple execution environments. Oh, it oh. includes so, the part of them. So it, maybe it's my bad, not not the native speaker. What I mean is that a entity can have multiple multiple roles in it, and these can have different hierarchy levels. Uh, so this is, uh, I, I try to use one word to abstract uh, something relatively complex. I uh, couldn't even understand people. your answer. Uh, I'm, run I'm wondering whether the sentence can be deleted because there's already an earlier sentence that talks about the static code root of trust, which is the hardware piece in the fr in you know component A. Um, oh. I completely agree with that one. I'm wondering if we can just delete this one because I'm very confused by this sentence. If, by the way, if the term is um, SCRTM is is trying to refer to the the TCG usage that 
They don't say code root of trust, they say core root of trust. Oh, do they? Uh, we have to check oh, that. Yeah. I think it's not right. I, um, yeah, check that, please. I, but I, um, I think it doesn't, I think it doesn't, it, it, I, I don't think that that's really all that helpful. It's just a root of trust. Yeah. My, my okay. question would be to delete this sentence. I think right now there are yeah. places in this section that say the same thing multiple times. And uh, I think it could be cleaned up by removing some duplication, but I only called out this one because I think the sentence is super confusing and I would prefer deleting that sentence. <laughs> so just to be clear, so that sentence is... Um, um, As you can here, see in the... It is here. Right. And then it says... Uh, actually, the that same one. thing. That one I think is perfectly fine. The one that you have highlighted now, and I think if you delete the previous one, the second one reads perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, so, seeing the side by side, I agree now. <laughs> it is a problem okay. if we're working with the PR and yep. not with the text. Yeah. Yep, I understand. Okay, Dave, what else do we have? So, we've done that. Uh, the one. next one is on the very next sentence. Talking about stored securely, uh -huh. and I don't think there's any persistent storage necessary around the first claim, right? You can do the measurement every time, and so there's no storage, right? I don't know. I it says there is. into a PCR, and that was the point. But it's or not something stored else. Stored per it's se. Also a register. Yeah, registers. I would not call storage. Okay. Storage sounds like persistent. We say storage, right, you know securely. Me or measured securely, if you like, uh, Hank's measured term. Yeah, that is my question again. I introduced measured again because it, it works so well. <laughs> and I'm falling back to it because if I try to use collected, uh, then it doesn't make sense anymore. And that is, was my problem here. That's why I, have, uh, I might have a comment somewhere about that. Um, so we're going to go with the word measured. Securely. Collected. Yeah. Right. Well, it's because you can see in the next sentence, he talks about measured. Or, sorry, two sentences. The is 406. So you can also switch 406 instead of saying the successfully measured, you could say the securely measured and delete the previous sentence. So the the word, or did we say we're changing from, we're not using collect anymore, or we're saying that measured is a specialization of collection? For the sake of claims and claim collection, I would say this is a specialization of collection. I, I think the object of the verb is different. So I have no problem with Hank's term measured per se. Um, it's not synonymous with collected, right? Um, you yes. measure values and then you put them into claims that are collected by a different entity. Exactly that way. Thank you, Dave. Okay. So, so I don't think there are alternatives. The first sentence remains, but with measured rather than stored. And the second sentence, we just remove his comment because we agree with the word measured. That's my suggestion. Sure. I'm fine with that. Is measured in the glossary? It is not. Hank is defining it here, basically. But it could be um, defined in line in the section four or whatever. That's the two types of environment, which is the one that introduces the term uh, a testing environment and target environment. That's where I think it belongs. Okay. We would introduce the term for the first time in there because it's a point about the definition of those. Yeah. So, uh, um, so let's see. The okay, so let's, let's look at the second paragraph. Names are collected okay. from the target environment. Look at the second sentence. A testing is. environments collect the raw values and the information to be represented in claims, right? But the claims are collected from target environments. Yeah, so actually these two sentences, I think are actually using the term collection to mean measure. Um, so yeah, so maybe there is, are alternatives would, here. Would the word collation be better than collection? Because th some of these entities are basically just collating stuff and organizing it and maybe signing it, but they're not really adding to you know, anything intrinsic to the results. Is, is measured used by TCG? Yeah. <laughs> that's, big time. that's probably their preferred term. Okay. So I I'm about this term. I, I, I'm fine with measured if that's what TCG is using. Uh, claims are collected based upon measurements. The, 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 uh, the, 
Okay. The, question, the, the concern I have with measure is it's, it's very specific to something you do to code. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily make sense for claims that are not re re related to code. So. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's the, yeah, I agree. That's so. Yeah, sure. so, uh, so we wanted to introduce the term measure measure in this these two paragraphs and we have done the opposite at this point we've sure. we've agreed that yeah these are the two belong. things we do we have this, this we have this layer attestation that does measurements and then we have the uh, creation of evidence by collecting uh, information from the silicon like the gps thing and that, that these are two different things these will end up in evidence both and maybe it's okay to say they are they, at one time collection if it's a claims that are basically a uh, location or debug enabled and such that like, like defined in each and maybe the 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 the, the typical thing that a, a testing environment is layered at a station approach here uh, does measurements maybe that is okay to differentiate that yeah with the right framing uh, that seems okay So what I'm thinking or hearing based on this discussion so far is that the second paragraph of 4.1 is the one that we want to introduce this concept in, or at least use this terminology in. Uh, the first paragraph of 4.1, it also needs to be, uh, the second half of the first paragraph also needs to be modified. That's where Hank was talking about, as long as it's introduced earlier on, uh, that those that like layered and composite are separate things. And you can see that one example is, and so there it's referring to the layered attestation procedures, which wasn't in there at the time that 4.1 was written, um, but it doesn't mention to you. And so we'd have to rewrite the second half of the paragraph of uh, first paragraph of 4.1. <clears throat> um, I don't know, you maybe want to do that in a different PR, but I think yeah, I, I'm, I'm yeah, having difficulty yeah, understanding yeah. what you're saying right now, but. Um, think you're trying to say that paragraph one has to tell us about layered and composite and say that they're different. It, it needs to have a forward reference kind of thing, right? And the next two sections, the next two sections will cover two examples of uh, how they can be, how there can be multiple, because it talks as other implementations might have multiple attesting in target environments. Um, uh, examples are in sections 4.2 and 4.3, and they could be combined or whatever it is. So. Somebody's beeping. <clears throat> so I, 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 four point one, I think benefits from you know a picture. It's worth a thousand words. Shows the simple target environment, a testing environment, and some arrows. Talk to that, right? Is it one arrow? Is there more than one arrow? Um, yeah. I think in the discussion, there's only one arrow, right? There's an arrow flowing from the target. Target, I don't know. I don't know whether you draw it as an arrow flowing from the target environment to the testing environment, or the other way around. But the, the point is, is there is a collection of claims by the testing environment about the target environment. It's a subject-object kind of thing, and subjects are active, and so I tend to think of arrows going out of active things into passive things. But maybe it's unintuitive. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever direction the arrows appear in four two and four three, right? Just some sort of consistency, and then the terminology is it collects claims. I, I, that's fine. The thing that we're talking about is in terms of measurement is a set of vocabulary that is claim specific. So if you go through each of the claims that are defined and ask yourself, is it intuitive to say that I collect this or I measure this? Or I something else this that that would be the te the litmus test for if we have the right vocabulary on a claims we have to go at it through at a claims by claims basis. It collects claims, some of which are measurements. Uh, well, it's uh, you collect you're collecting claims. A claim of software integrity is a measurement. A, okay, a, if if I'm collecting you do... location, is you know I don't know what's the right verb for. For that, right? If you want to do this in a different PR, then uh, Michael, I'm happy to take a shot at 4.1 after this one is merged. Okay, so um, let's let's do that. Okay, if you don't want to do it on the call, it's not like we want to get to other things. Not, yeah, I, I think I, I think we should come. We should we should 
declare success on this one and um uh it got better life got better so um <laughs> Hey, yeah, hey, this is this is Gary here. Uh, quick question. Yeah, you saw my confusion on yesterday's call on endorsements. Could we? Would it make sense in the in this particular section, section four, to say what an attester it, that an attester can sign the claim, uh, but it, 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 but make a very clear distinction that that would not be the endorsement of defining the spec. Um, I don't. I think this is the best section to do that in, meaning I think that there's an earlier section that it should be clear in, whether it is or not. And then I couldn't get that uh, information out, so that's why I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I yeah, think it's, uh, I it might be better for the casual reader. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally opposed to having alternate words for the term signed. If I meant si uh, sign, we should say sign. And then we use the word in endorsement as a noun, and we try not to verb the noun by creating a new word called, you know, endorse or evidence. You know, the verb. If I were to try to make evidence into a verb, I don't, you know, I don't know what word. I, it's like I'm evidencing something. It's like no, let's just say I sign it. It's evidence. Um, I just sign. Uh, I sign evidence. I sign endorsements. I sign. Yeah results it's you know i just sign things but signatures have different meanings here and i think the term endorsement is used is simply different as there's different meaning in gp i think that is our only problem i think that's what the problem yesterday uh in the virtual interim i think just this endorsement in gp is used simply differently than here that is that is that we have to disambiguate that problem and say endorsement in gp means something else or we ignore that and just define, take the, the meaning of GP and put it in here somewhere and associate it. Well, both, both methods are fine. Can you say what those two meanings are? I don't. Um, an endorsement, as far as I remember, and I really, really have to dip my memory here, an endorsement is a signature from the authenticator. And the authenticator can do this because there's special key material for this. Do you correct me if I'm wrong? I don't know what an authenticator is here. Yeah, I don't web either. Off. I, I don't the, 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 the FIDO web of uh, stuff. The authenticator is the attester. I'm, I'm, I'm using FIDO terms. <laughs> uh, don't do that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I know, but, but try to relate well, to no, the, the, the so, 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 so Hank, why, why, why not why not use the EK key as a very simple example? E EK endorsement key. What was the purpose of putting that in a DPM 1.2? Exactly. An EK certificate is an endorsement that is cached on the um, on the uh, TPM. An endorsement is something that is signed by a key that's not present on the device. What was the purpose of, say, say Intel or Infineon putting an EK key pair and putting an EK certificate on the TPM? Could you explain that? The, the reason that was done it was so that you could onboard the TPM. A and also provide evidence that this thing came from Intel or this thing came from Infineon. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh, although, although the, the correct, the that's, what's, that's what that's what there are a little bit underused. This is a, actually was the intent. Yes, it's a t TPM yeah. device provenance under provenance. Yeah, and, if you look and, at the and, and, look and, at the chat room, terms, which has sorry, the definition. The so, in, in terms of the architecture, endorsements are needed when uh, the the when you cannot create evidence about the thing like roots of trust. They cannot create evidence about themselves. They are the rock bottom, no turtles anymore. So you need endorsement and they are from external entities. That, that, that's, the, that's the main. So this, the, the definition of endorsement right that's in the document right now is in the chat room, which is a secure statement that some entity, typically a manufacturer, vouches for the integrity of an attester's signing capability. For example, yes. So it's right now. You have to refer, um, to refer to a specific hardware component, otherwise it's useless. Right. Okay, um, I don't know I why we're, we're, could be improved. Why are we rat holing on this topic? Gary, Gary wanted clarification about that in this section. I was just, it was a suggestion. Sorry to just, um, we can take it offline. Okay, well, I, I don't know what, 
we're, we're what I don't even know what we're what clarification you'd asked for, but because I don't know what text it refer, relates to. Um, so I've made a mistake. Um, I want to just move on. Uh, I merged this by mistake. These two changes here that we had removed last week uh, that were from way um, merged them by mistake. So I want to make sure that we either are agreement or we I will remove them again. So this was updated uh, with PR fifty one. You updated it now with PR fifty one. Yeah, because okay. when I had objected okay. to, and then way, and I had a uh, email uh, back and forth, which resulted in this. So what I should do is make sure I revert those two things that I did by mistake. And. Then I will merge that p merge that that stuff. Be controversial. So this is now what we're this replaces both of them. This replaces right. what you just showed as being checked in. Yes. Yeah, it's because there were two paragraphs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the, main, so, the, the main change is that the main points are were not actually specific to that section, and so they were moved down into the trust model section. And that was the. Uh, email thread that we were having is about it not being specific. And so he made that change and I'm fine with that. Okay. That's what I thought. I created a conflict. Okay. Um, let me so I will I will pull this in if we're in agreement. Does anyone else want to see the differences? Objections. Okay. Let's go back to the pull requests. So uh, this one is being closed. It's replaced. Is it replaced with 51? Yep. Okay. And so that one I'm about to do. Um, what about this one? So I want to close all the pull requests if I can. The local verifier. Do you want to walk us through this way? I guess that's the two diagrams. It'd be good to see them side by side. Can I do them side by side? Display the source off. Make your screen bigger. Yeah, I need to make my screen bigger, but then it'll press it'll format badly for you guys. Sorry, just a moment. the thing that lets me do that, right? Where's the side-by-side -side piece? I know you're not seeing that. Application. Um, side-by-side. That was there. Display the rich off. Show comments. Where is the side by side? From two filter changes from one commit. Select the definitions. Display the source diff. Yes. All right. Well, I give up. Okay. So I know there was a side by side here. You just have to tolerate looking, trying to see the differences here. So you display one, and we can look at the other one on our own screens or something. 
Let's play the okay. so. Uh, so what is? Do you want to just walk us through the changes way if you could? And claims moves around. Is it just? Are you just reformatting the diagram? I add. I add a optional local verify in the target environment and. Uh, the text below, I have a, a definition of what a local verify is based on Hank's opinion. Yeah. <clears throat> Discussion. Obviously, I'm, some. I'm people... still in the camp of not mixing these. Uh, I think it's confusing to talk about local verifier. Yeah, but uh, you know. Um, the tester, um, uh, the test A has the ability to verify the, uh, uh, like the entity, which contains the role of a tester, has the ability to uh, verify the evidence of other tester. So it's it uh, has another or a role of verifier, and uh, uh, right. as it's it's a verifier, so it also need to be. Uh, for a security level consideration, it also need to be right. verified. But I think, as I, an think that, so it's, I think that reduces uh, to yeah. that reduces to the um, the the, uh, the the typical verifier a tester verifier case where you, you described an attester talking to a verifier, and the only difference is locality. And I asked the question, well, why do we care about locality? What does it mean to be local versus remote? It's, it's really context of where you're, you know, how things are connected. But uh, if you're in the context of the internet, then uh, local is and remote is defined by an IP address. If you're in the context of a USB bus, then it's defined in terms of your uh, USB endpoints, and if it's in some other interconnect kind of architecture, then it's defined in terms of the you know the other the other the, whatever that other connectivity component is for that other architecture. So it's relative. So it's ambiguous to to talk about local. Okay, uh, not about the verifier, <laughs> yeah. internal verifier. Yeah, sorry, this is saying um, I, I'm I'm still I'm I'm pitching this one last time. I think that that uh, introducing the term interconnect and saying this can be a uh, I don't know GIO pin soldered on SOC or the internet on the other side of the world is all relative and it is is the interconnect and entities are are, are talking with this so it can be in a device and you don't need to define anything or it can be uh, on the other side of the world you probably use the internet so um so i think still it's worthwhile to talk about this but it was disputed like three times and i gave up on it but this is again the same problem this is why we are talking about local and remote so often because we're just trying to differentiate that instead of saying there's an interconnect the end yeah well that was the same issue that um for for the sub modules in eat trying to characterize the security of that inter interconnect uh, that's suggesting a solution one way or the other i just agree that it's maybe needs some attention <clears throat> <Yeah>. <clears throat> um i'm just an advocate for not clouding this this simple concept with with that maybe later else elsewhere it could be addressed so Ned, you're not opposed to the concept. You're opposed to the presentation that the diagram okay. is too complicated. Gets too complicated. Right. Yeah. Me too. L let's do we need a second diagram, or do we need this. to remove that to the text? Because I thought we had already done that. We'd already removed it to the text. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to maybe, maybe be a little bit of a purist, I don't know, but it's like composite device is one of those building block concepts that you want to get, you know, very specific and clear about what it is and not confuse, confu not, not introduce other conversations that just t tend to draw attention away from this really core concept. 
the, the point is, is the point of a composite device is that the attestation evidence in B and C is verified by the thing called remote verifier is not verified by the lead attester. The lead attester is simply providing an assertion or a claim of composition, which is to say that the device, the test, the attester B device and the uh, attester A device are composed as a, as a composite device all it's trying to say and there's some real binding between them right there's some sort of real binding between them or you know that's so uh, that's that's the that's the core concept anything else is just going to draw attention away from that and i think the main goal of this diagram is to say we need a claim for composition that should be the takeaway from this section that we need a yeah, claim right. for. Hey, this is Gary here. And one of the use cases we typically run into is, uh, you know, we'll have a host processor attached to some other uh, some other device that's capable of attesting over a bus like PCIe, UART, etc. SCIO. Therefore, there will be a local verifier in the composite device. But that local verifier won't. I claims on the attachment back to a relying party. What it'll do instead is it'll use the uh, the claims from the attester to determine if the uh, attach is authentic. So, uh, typical example is Qualcomm uh, Qualcomm host processor attached to a Qualcomm Wi-Fi Bluetooth module as an, exa as an example, versus a Broadcom Wi-Fi Bluetooth mo uh, com combo module. Maybe and there are so, cases where one is acceptable and one is not. The line party doesn't necessarily need to know about that. The point is that in that case, the thing that you're calling a verifier is producing a result which is consumed by a relying party, right? Uh, it, it may just not even uh, not even allow the attach at all, and the relying party. And, and what in it, which case? It, in which case it's playing the role of both the verifier and the relying party. Yes. In which case it has nothing to do with the thing called remote verifier on this diagram. It doesn't actually fit. Yes, that's exactly why I'm saying it's a, it, it, it doesn't cover that use case, which means it's not really that useful what is being presented here. It just we're, I want to avoid having diagrams that try to describe my particular implementation of the world because there's going to be lots of different correct implementations of the world and try so, to just so I just want to get back to Ned that, that your objection is the busyness of the diagram, not the fact that there's a local lot that the there's a local verifier. Right, and I, I don't I don't know that I would, if I were to try to draw that that uh, diagram that I would draw it this way, I wouldn't necessarily put the local verifier inside the target environment. You 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 wouldn't necessarily put that part in that sub sub box is what you're saying. Right. You might yeah. put it elsewhere. Okay, right. and yeah, and I, and I would, Jerry's yeah, descri I, described thing also would tend to put it somewhere else i think as well yeah um, I, yeah i would say saying that it, you know i would say stop with the local verifier don't worry about the remote verifier if there is a remote verifier that model is already covered someplace else so that really you know, ned, i agree with ned that the that the diagram is too, is too prescriptive the way it's written in, in, in some sense we could even get rid of the whole target environment and the collecting claims box because it's superfluous to the uh, main topic of some uh, of the attesting environment asserting that there is composition of an attester B and an attester C and an attester dot 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 thing. I, I wouldn't do that because I think you want to show the binding of the, 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 the co those collected claims with the attestations from B and C. 
no. that's why the arrow here goes all the way into the bo into the testing environment box, right? Right. It's not. I'm not. I'm. It isn't. It isn't incorrect to put it there. I'm just saying if if you really want to sort of dial it down, we could even get rid of that, and it'd still be correct. It could be that the only thing that it does is assert composition. So, um, I wonder, Jerry, would you be able to work with Way to kind of uh, figure out another way to explain this? Uh, this here, sure. maybe a second I'll diagram. Put some, I'll put some suggestions. On. Okay, I like a second diagram. A second diagram might be the right way to go. Where you explore, where you explore the contents of this inner box. On what it does, and your example about that the that you know it may have a local verifier that never actually says anything to the remote doesn't result in additional evidence. It just results in it, the target environment saying, uh, "I think I'm okay. I have all the parts connected to me that I'm supposed to have connected to me." Yeah, yeah. I think that's an important step. I agree with that. Okay, so. Um, Let's go back up to issues, okay? I, I don't think we're going to solve that one today. Um, uh, surprise me. It would be nice to solve it this week. Um, just I like it narrower because then it fits on my screen in the right place better. Um, so are there, new t are there new issues? So we have this one. Um, I do we only have, have only two minutes left. I want to highlight yeah. that I will do another PR that is a polished PR, and probably it will create merge conflicts with with other bigger changes. But I have, I want to have a, want to do a whole read through tomorrow, and and just do edits uh, um, at will, uh, so to speak. If that is okay with you, uh, if the, with the group, I think so. Okay. Uh, this, yeah, this is Gary here. Um, I'm also wanting to, I'd also like to uh, open an issue on implicit trust and add a, uh, an implicit trust model for attestation tokens and uh, add, a, add an appropriate PR as well, based on so the I, discussion yesterday. So I think we should talk about what process we want to use for generating the internet draft before the, mm -hmm. on Monday, because we're not going to have another Tuesday conference call before then. Yep. The most important part. Yeah. No, I think, uh, I, I think. We should review this before. What I'm intending, I think, it should be reviewed before. So, so what I would, so. so what I would like is, as Hank, you have yeah. tomorrow, okay? Um, um, ed, do edits, send a PR, and mm -hmm. unless there's major objections, um, then I'd like to merge it. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to merge it. Uh, at the uh, on Thursday, my Thursday morning. Okay, which gives you. So what do you mean by my, my major objections? Do you mean unless there's major objections? Does that mean that there's no comments and no approvals, or you need at least a minimum number of approvals, or you need a maximum number of comments? Uh, or... I I I would like Dave to That's you. I, mean for, I would like Dave for you to say, hey, I'm I'm okay with the bulk of what's here. That's fine, or I have a serious problem with what's here, in which case uh, that's all. So I'm saying major objections are like if if you want to quibble over the words, quibble over the words, but 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 yeah. I would like to proceed there. So there and then there's someone I else. Don't to, I don't want to range would... check. Uh, Dave, Dave, if you find something in the PR, please comment on it and say hell neck. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you have I, something in there. I'm okay. I'm asking because I plan to generate a PR as well, like for that section four point one stuff. And so that's why I'm asking. So I'm suggesting I'm... I'm suggesting Dave, that's why I'm trying to say, Dave, why don't you do that on Thursday if that's convenient for you? So that way we don't at least, we, we, um, essentially I'm I'm managing a, a right lock here. <laughs> if you prefer. Because that way we don't get into into reformats of the of the same paragraphs. Or unless you want to divide it by four point one. And and Hank won't touch four point one. I don't have a preference. I just want to know what we're thinking is the process. So I like sequencing. I, I hate giving around the pen actually, but in this case, I think it's actually worthwhile. I think that what you want to do is you you each want to do some editorial nits, and I think that given that that typically causes a lot of little bits here and there, uh, I think it's better to hand the pen around.
being the end of Hank's day already. And, and uh, at the end of Hank's day tomorrow, uh, if he indicates to me that then, and I think it's okay. And Dave, if, if you have a chance at the, at the big middle of your day to take a look, then that would be great. Because you guys are like 12 hours apart. 12, eight, nine hours apart. Nine something, yeah. I'm fine with that if Dave is fine with that. Way, way can work on it tomorrow, his tomorrow, which is in eight oh, hours. Yeah. <laughs> 24 <laughs> hour, 24 hour. We just need an Indian subcontinent continent <laughs> worker too. Someone in Honolulu. Hank, you don't have any issue files, right? You're just planning to do uh, any nits that you find that don't have any technical changes. Is that your intent? Yes, I don't want to okay. technical changes. If there's a technical change, I will issue a okay. uh, either a comment or a separate PR. Okay. So I think that some of these issues on the screen may be closed at this point. Um, and if they're not, then uh, that would also be good um, to know whether or not. Um, and if you want to turn any of these like this one here, Lawrence, if you want to turn this into a pull request, I think you should feel free to do that. Um, 34 should be closed. Yeah, he could turn it into a pull request and then close it as having a no, pull no. request. But number I'm not 34 saying... should be closed. Oh, okay. Number 24 should be closed. Yes. 34, okay. since you just merged the 34. The yeah, move section merged. six. Yeah. I, I just closed it actually. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. I just hit reload. Go away. There we go. Um, so, okay. So the plan is. Uh, I will post it on Friday, and if there's a major problem, then you will email or email me or something, and we'll have a chance to post it again on Monday. How's that sound? I think it's like to reconvene uh, uh, with an out of order session on, on Monday or Friday, or is it out of the question for everyone because it is a horrible thing to coordinate, which it is. Uh, I'm available at my noon onwards on Friday, which is 9 a.m. Dave time and 6 p.m. for Hank. Yeah, fine. Is that okay? That is fine with me. Okay. We're asking about 9 a.m. Pacific this Friday? I think that's okay with me. So that's the sixth. I think this can be a very presentable arc uh, improvement. This is uh, fast moving work. I actually think that everybody in this group uh, deserves a big uh, gratitude and big thanks uh, for contributing in this level. All right. So, so the other question is, I'd like to ask if you, we could include Way as an author. Uh, that is technically possible. Uh, we are four authors, I think, or five. I actually don't know. I think technically that's a question to the chair since they controlled the authors on this. So, actually, we, we have Ned. Possible. One chair so, here, um, Ned. So, do you want to bring that up, please, Ned, with the other chairs? I know I've sent an email a couple of weeks ago about that question. Ned? Ned's still here? So we have... Ned disconnected. Ned disconnected. Uh, yeah, we have, we have four editors on this uh, draft. All right. The official if, maximum is five. So, uh, yeah, pending on contribution... Unless I there's think... objections, I'm going to tell the chairs that we're doing that, and they can object, since I've asked them already once. That is a very useful process, because they can object. <laughs> do that all right thank you very much and i'll talk to you on friday and online before then okay thank you Bye. thanks yeah bye-bye